Welcome to Pastor's Chat today. We're looking at Revelations chapter 8. The trumpets are sounding and the judgment of God is being released on planet Earth in the period that's called the Tribulation. We saw back in chapter 6 there were there was a sixth a seventh seal book in the hand of God that uh, the Lamb of God Jesus took out of his hand and he was worthy to open it. He begins to open the seal in the sixth chapter and we then recognize these four horses come from each of the first four recognizing how the Antichrist comes on the scene to set up his kingdom on the earth. And remember, it's a counterfeit kingdom. He's the Antichrist. Uh, the Jews and many of the people in the world will recognize him as the Messiah, believe he's come to save the earth, to come to set up peace. And he starts that way, but it's not soon that he begins to then kill the saints, those who are one to the Lord who are saved at the first part of the tribulation as the two witnesses preach, 144,000 preach, and thousands and millions, I believe, repent and turn to Jesus Christ. But the Antichrist begins to shed their blood because they won't bow to him. And then God reveals after the sixth angel and the earthquake, great earthquake takes place and there seems to be a lull in the storm and we see what happens in chapter 7. Then chapter, which I believe actually fills us in on what takes place even at the beginning of the tribulation so we know how these people get saved in the tribulation period. But then chapter 8, then the, the seventh seal sounds and it really, uh, the seventh seal is open and it released the seven trumpets. Now we've already looked at the first two trumpets. The first trumpet sounded and there was hell and fire mingled with blood that was thrown on the earth and a third of the trees was burned up. The second angel sounded and something like a great mountain was cast into the sea and a third of the sea became blood and a third of the living creatures in the sea died died and a third of the ships were destroyed. We talked about that yesterday. Now we're at the fourth, third angel and that's in verse 10 of chapter 8. Then the third angel sounded and a great star fell from heaven burning like a torch and it fell on a third part of the rivers and on the springs of water. The name of the star is Wormwood and a third of the waters became Wormwood and many men died from the water because it was made bitter. Now something I want to insert here, as we look at these judgments, we might try to explain them in some kind of natural phenomenon like meteorites and et cetera and so forth. But honestly, literally, these are supernatural judgments that God himself is releasing on the earth. Uh, it was something like a mountain that uh, fell in the sea. We saw back in verse uh, 8 uh, when the second angel sounded. But here there is something like a star. It doesn't say like a star, a great star. God's in control of the uh, atmosphere. He's in control of the stars. He knows them all by name. And uh, so he calls one of these stars to fall. Now it falls like a torch, which means it might even be something like a meteorite, and it breaks up. And as it breaks up, it then it falls on at least a third of the waters on the earth. And because of that, these are the fresh waters that men must have to survive. Now the first two judgments that we saw were the first two trumpets. Uh, we didn't read of any men dying. A third of the ships were, of course, destroyed, and a third of the green grass and all that was burned up. But, uh, and we know probably famines and ex food shortages caused people to die. But here, specifically, John says, and many men died from the water. So they were drinking the water that the uh, star uh, or this meteorite have fell into and it became like wormwood. Now in the Old Testament, the word wormwood is about uh, water that is undrinkable. That's basically what it means. It's poisoned. It's undrinkable. Uh, in the Old Testament, it was synonymous with sorrow and great calamity. Uh, Jeremiah, especially the weeping prophet, prophet, used it often, and so did Amos. Uh, those who turned justice into wormwood. Moses had warned that idolatry would bring sorrow to Israel like a root producing wormwood. Solomon warned that immorality might seem pleasant, but in the end it produces bitterness like wormwood, Proverbs 5.4. And so the people that drink of this water are in danger of dying. 
Can you imagine what happens to the fish and the creatures in it? And so these judgments of God have begun to fall on the earth. And the earth is going to suffer tremendous catastrophic destruction. Oh, my friend, you don't want to be here during that time. God bless and I trust that you'll have a wonderful, wonderful day.